Hey y'all, Super X here, and today we're going to do this um, artistic wire wire gizmo. Here, let me fix it to my desk real quick. That's all there is to it. It's got like a little uh, vice grip on the bottom of it. You just cinch it down and uh, put it in place. Couldn't get much easier than that. And now we're going to grab the 1.5 millimeter mandrel and put it through there. That is a perfect size for rock in a micro coil 1.5 millimeter you'll see I put a, a, a nut and like a wing nut and a couple washers and a bolt on there here's my 29 gauge, gauge canthal pull off a little bit because I'm gonna anneal it first I found now that that uh, keeps my coils from moving overnight just sitting there so I just started to anneal again back to annealing cool just that's it. I'm just going to get the little torch, or if you have a lighter, whatever. Big lighter works just fine. Just heating it up. God, if watching one of my videos doesn't demonstrate to you that you could be clumsy as hell completely clumsy and uncoordinated and still make a decent coil I'm telling you if you're not rebuilding you should be because I'm pretty much the living example that you could be a total doofus and still build coils a doofus mechanically so that's it just heating it up it should have taken a normal person probably about 10 seconds to do that but I think it's going to take me about 5 minutes to heat up three or four or five inches of canthal. Notice that I left it on the spool too because that's going to give it some good tension here when we mount it to this thing. Here again you'll observe my stupidity. I've got a wing nut on there. What am I doing with this screwdriver? Duh! Oh! That's right. And it's already loose. You just stick that. I've loosened up the wing nut. Just stick that little bit of wire up under there. Cinch down that wing nut. And now watch this. Flavored is the man for coming up with this this deal for wrapping coils. Got to say, flavored throwing it out there, dude. What a killer idea! Makes me just want to almost build coils and just throw them away. It's so easy and fun. There you go. I'm just wrapping it. Ten wraps, probably be perfect. Look at that. Now I'm putting a little tension on my spool while I wind but each wrap lays perfectly beside the one next to it again you could not get a more perfect micro coil you could wrap one probably this perfect by hand but it's just not going to be that easy and anytime I've wrapped by hand at least one of the legs isn't straight it's kind of like bent so you got to kind of work it this now that I've clipped it again duh, how do you use these things again um, you'll see that Let's see if we can get the focus right. It'll probably take me another five minutes. But it is just laying right now. It is the epitome of a perfect micro diameter coil with the with the wraps touching each other. So now let's see. Let's cut off the other side here. Yeah, that wing nut helps. It comes without that. And the way the guy demonstrates how to do it, you just wrap the wire around that little loop. That's going to give you legs that aren't straight. So if you got, I think it was a M4 size little bolt. Watch. Uh, uh, oh, how do you use these? Oh, you, uh, uh, God, I can't cut wire. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. Anyhow, um, I noticed I abandoned my nail clippers. That was another smart little investment. I picked those little things up at Walmart for like three bucks. And they're so much easier than nail clippers because wire doesn't go flying all over the place.